Hey everybody, yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's been a while since I've done a review. I had some serious, I had some issues this week. Uh, and besides the weather, which has been uh, snowy and windy and cold and just nasty, at least not like uh, upstate New York anyway, but uh, miserable enough. And I got a cold, so I lost my lost my sense of smell and taste or. I didn't lose them, but I sure weren't as good as they should be. So, and also my computer died. So I'm I'm recording this on a new computer. Um, my old webcam. Uh, this new one has uh, t uh, this camera has uh, 1080p, and uh, I have HD uh, capabilities. So my my regular video camera doesn't have that. But I may have to pick one of those up in the next couple months or so. But uh, Anyway, it's just uh, it's just been a nasty week, and this this computer's got this uh, Windows 8.1, which is a disaster as far as I'm concerned. Uh, I'm still trying to I I normally run run Linux or uh, I like my last computer had a dual boot system, Linux and Windows, so I could switch back and forth. But I can't can't find the the BIOS or the the any way to make it boot to a DVD so I can install the install the Linux on uh, the newest form of Linux on uh, on my computer. Uh, I think they disabled that or something in in Windows. I don't know why, but it, it's a disaster. But anyway, today I'm going to do one that uh, the the store got a bunch of uh, bunch of new beers. Uh, a bunch from Evil Twin, uh, which I'm going to do today. I'm going to do their Freudian Slip, which is a 10.3% uh, uh, barley wine. I bought a couple bottles of it, and I did have one uh, a couple nights ago. Uh, and uh, so I've got some initial impressions on it. And and they got a bunch of that uh, Stillwater Artisanal, which primarily makes Saison. So... Uh, I did buy a couple bottles of one of their stouts, and then I got home and realized that um, I'd already reviewed that one. So, because uh, uh, I'm looking for stouts and barley wines and uh, everything else this time of year. But uh, anyway, about the evil twin Freudian slip. Did you also at some point in your life get seduced by promising words like probably not the best in the world? It doesn't really work every time, etc. This American barley wine. Says it how it is. It is intense, attention-seeking, hoppy, and definitely your kind of beer. A beer with a big ego, drive, and a huge thirst for uh, recognition. Like I said, it's uh, barley wine, 10.3% ABV. The website, it says it's brewed at uh, Westbrook Brewing Company in South Carolina. Uh, the bo bottle says it's... Uh, Brewed by Evil Twin Brewing in Stanford, Stratford, Connecticut. That that doesn't mean that's actually where they brewed it. But anyway, let's get this uh, get let's get this barley wine in a in a glass and see what we have. A little bit of a hiss. There's some. There's a little bit of smoke sitting down there in the neck, but not coming out. Smoke kind of pours out when you pour it. That looks dark and malty, and I know from the other night it is. There's some floaties in there, so it must be bottle conditioned somewhat. Uh, not much of a head, kind of a off, slightly off-white head. Um, reddish brown color, mostly mostly towards brown, but some reddish tints to it. Uh, nice looking barley wine. Uh, let's get a nose on it. Okay, yeah, at, uh, they say it's hoppy, and it is. Um, starts off with, you really get some uh, citrus notes right there in the beginning, some orange and grapefruit, and uh, almost uh, a really, really tart lemon in there. And You get some pine and resin notes hanging around the edges. Um, you're getting uh, touches of the malts, too, some caramel, some honey notes. Uh, Maybe a little toffee, a bit of brown sugar, some maple syrup, um, some dark fruits, um, 
just a, it's a sweet smelling beer, and uh, I know from a couple nights ago, it's a sweet tasting beer, so let's get a taste. Okay, yeah, it starts off with those those big citrus notes like you get in the nose. and Again, the orange and the grapefruit and some tart lemon. And it's a tart grapefruit. It isn't, a, it isn't that uh, sweet pink grapefruit or anything like that. Um, then it uh, kind of morphs into the middle of your mouth uh, with into some caramel notes. Um, kind of a burnt caramel note. Um, you're getting little uh, piney, resiny notes. Um, but it's still pretty sweet, even with all that tartness. So getting the maple sugar, the uh, or ma maple syrup rather, or brown sugar. Um, yeah, it's a uh, it's got a kind of a medium uh, like bready taste to it. Um, some dark fruits, uh, raspberry, blackberry, maybe some cherry and plum. Um, it almost seems like, uh, almost seems like some uh, some fruit jam there, but uh, it's kind of a kind of a muddled, uh, grassy and uh, bitter bitter uh, herbal bitterness there on the on the finish, um, but uh, it's uh, medium body. Maybe slightly more than medium body. Uh, kind of a kind of a syrupy uh, texture to the taste um, or to the mouthfeel. Um, there's a light carbonation there, uh, but it's still got a little uh, little sting on the tongue, which uh, kind of goes actually kind of goes goes well with those uh, those hops and. Uh, uh, the little spicy bitterness on the finish, but um, really, it's got a dry finish and it's like I said, slightly bitter, herbal, uh, herbal hoppy finish. Uh, the orange is kind of almost like a like a blood orange in there, and there may be some uh, a little pineapple in those citrus notes, but there's a lot of hops in this. Um, Definitely an American uh, American style barley wine. Uh, yeah, definitely not your traditional uh, British style barley wine for sure. With a lot of, but it's got a lot of hops, but still very sweet, but still some uh, bitterness and tartness to it. Just a really nice, uh, nice blend of flavor. I don't, I don't really get the the ten point three percent alcohol on it. I get maybe just a. A hint of warmth as it starts to go down and and it hits the stomach, but uh, in the taste, I'm not getting it really much. But uh, let me sit. I will sit and sip on this a while. Let it warm up a bit. I'll come back in a while with the final thoughts and grade. Okay, I'm back. Um, yeah, it's been almost an hour, probably more than an hour. Um, I've been sipping on this and. Again, having some computer issues. This Windows 8.1 really sucks. Uh, that's just my opinion. But then I'm used to Linux, and I'm used to having a dual boot system where I can switch back and forth. And it's really screwing me up. But uh, yeah, I had this uh, camera camera program die, and had to reboot to bring it back to life. Hopefully, it's back to life. But uh, yeah, anyway, so I better end this quick before something else screws up. But uh, overall, this is, uh, as this warmed up, um, I noticed, uh, well, I have to say first, I noticed this was bottled on 512. So this is over six months old. I'm surprised at the amount of hoppiness that's still in this after six months. Um, Actually, better than six months. Uh, I'm, I'm amazed that it's still there, and uh, I'm getting a lot of it still. Uh, surprisingly enough, but um, this is an above average, um, pretty solid, um, decent barley wine. Um, it's not what you uh, 
would expect from your traditional American barley wine, uh, even though it is hoppy and it's definitely not a definitely not a uh, traditional uh, style barley wine like uh, you get from uh, from England and uh, the the UK countries and, and Europe, but uh, so darn good beer. Um, it's very nice, very drinkable. Uh, the hot, the alcohol has come out a bit more since it's warmed up, but it's still not too bad. Not super noticeable on the taste, um, and just just a little bit more again as it goes down. So and it hits your stomach, but uh, pretty nice uh, drinkable beer. I like uh, like the drinkable beer. I like the drinkability of it. Um, it's a really nice. Uh, it's full of sweet flavor. It's a really uh, really good beer to end the night with, like I did a couple nights ago. And uh, rather than uh, mid afternoon like it is today, uh, uh, it, it's be it's better to end the evening with a last final sipper before you go to bed. But um, it's um, you know if if you like the unconventional. Uh, you might like it. Um, it's not the kind of barley wine I expected, but I like being surprised, and uh, it's enjoyable beer n nonetheless. So the Evil Twin uh, Freudian Slip barley wine. Whoop! Still haven't figured out how to use this camera yet. Uh, yeah, it's going to get a good solid. Uh, Good solid 9 out of 10 for me. Still a decent drinkable beer. I've been impressed with Evil Twin uh, beer so far. I'm going to have to check the uh, where I buy any more. I bought a stout, which I bought one of their stouts, which, which uh, you know, the, the age shouldn't matter. But uh, I'm going to have to check on some of their hoppier beers, uh, check the dates. And uh, I, may, I, I may pass on a few of them before I pick any up. But I, I did... Like I said, I picked up one of those Stillwater Artisanals, which I'd already, already reviewed. But, uh, yeah, yesterday, I uh, the the celebration finally hit town, so I picked up a six-pack of that. Had a bottle of that last night, and uh, the, uh, the Anchor Brewing uh, Christmas Ale uh, came out. Uh, different beer every year, and... Uh, Good beer this year, so I'll get get those uh, get those in the in the queue here sometime in the near future. But uh, like I said, I'm gonna give the Freudian slip from Evil Twin Brewing, and whether it's brewed in Connecticut or South Carolina, I don't know. But I said brewed by Evil Twin, so probably brewed in South South Carolina, like the website says. But like I said, nine out of ten. Decent, solid, drinkable beer. So, till next time, everybody, cheers. Let's keep drinking good beers.